Okay, this is the uh, measurements for the lift, aircraft lift. So I'm trying to fit a Skymaster and an uh, air cam with the air cam going up. And it has an 8 foot 4 inch tail height. And with the Skymaster beneath it, which I think gets a 9 foot 4 inch vertical stabilizer height. There's a Skymaster. I'll get the exact measurements. Anyway, 31 feet back from the threshold, which is not exactly the front. The threshold is where this cement right here meets the apron. So if you look at this, this is where it lines up. So maybe three or four inches back from there, the thickness of the door. Max, because there's a door. Comes straight down. So maybe two inches back from here. So when I come back here, the T-hanger, we got 20 inch, 20 feet of width between um, the edge of this beam and the edge of that beam. <clears throat> the clearance at 18 feet from that threshold to the back, I'll explain. If from eight, 18 feet from the front from that threshold, it's 16 feet 5 inches high. Okay, and then if I measure 16 feet high along this beam, which is where I assume the lift would go, to the bottom of that I-beam, actually to the, to the first lip, right above the I-beam, is 16 feet 5 inches. And the I-beam itself is 10 inches uh, thick. So 16.5 plus 10. So 17. 8, I guess. There. That's the lowest point. Okay, then I come back and you can see that the way these rafters are set up, they go, it's increasing in height. Right? So the, so the highest point is where the peak stops. You see here, the peak stops and starts to descend, and that's right about at 26 feet from that threshold. I come down, and 26 feet is 17 inches high, 17 feet high from the floor to the, maybe a quarter of an inch from the base of the of the I beam, plus 10 inches for the beam itself. So we're at 17 feet 8 inches at 26 feet. I can get more measurements, but then I measured again at 31 feet, which is almost the back of the hangar, and I, get, I read 16.6 .6 high to the, roughly the base of the I-beam, and then another 10 inches for the, for the thickness of the I-beam. So I look up, and you can see that there's another probably six inches above that to the, to the top of the insulation because the I, these other beams sit on top of the I-beam. So the measurements I took are to roughly the base of the I-beam, right about, like, like on the top, the bottom lip where I could reach, reach with tape measure, pull down. Then 10 inches, then another aluminum beam upon which they put the uh, insulation and I guess the roof was screwed into that stuff. So, the highest point seems to be safely 20, uh, 17 feet 10 inches. And then I have a little bit of fudge factor in here, in between this aluminum beam and this back beam. I think the tail can go in there, top of the tail. If we raise the so if you raise the, uh, the air cam, which has a very high tail, 8 feet 4 inches, um, the back of the tail will probably be somewhere in this area. I have to figure that out. And, uh, and maybe you can raise, do some kind of ramp with the nose wheel of the Skymaster. I don't know. It's going to be tight, though. 
<clears throat> but the highest point on the SkyMaster is certainly the uh, vertical stabilizers. Um, and anyway, that's it. So we can raise 16 feet 5 inches. So I'm assuming that we could raise a, the bottom of the of the lift nine feet six inches that leaves 6.5 in the front and 7.5 in the back that might need to do it anyway I'll, I'll call you about it